Well, the saying that you know, good things come to those who wait now. After 10 years, CMU's wait is finally over. The university cut a medical grade ribbon to mark the opening today of a multi-million dollar medical education center. Cora Dickey attended the grand opening this afternoon and captured the excitement. CMU just cast a new chapter for some health related programs. The school teamed up with both local hospitals and the city of Grand Junction to bring healthcare's incoming workforce a classroom that looks more like the place they'll eventually work at. This facility, more than 20,000 square feet, has current students pumped to continue their education. This lab is amazing. Not to say our other building wasn't, but this is like looks like state of the art, brand new, just waiting for us to continue to learn our clinical skill set. The project, which has been a decade in the making, will educate and train students to be qualified physician assistants, occupational and physical therapists. After state funding didn't come through, Tim Foster committed to get the idea off the ground before he left. According to Program Director Dr. Amy Bronson, it's been a long time coming. When we think about where we started and where we are today, this building really stands for so much more. It really stands for what our community can do when we come together around a common vision. And we know that workforce, especially in our healthcare field, is needed now and in the future. Dozens of financial donations created 12 classrooms and labs, group study areas, and office space. St. Mary's President Brian Johnson says getting the building open is only the start of St. Mary's involvement. As this program grows, having the faculty and the, the facilities on the, on, the, on the campuses, on the hospital campuses, to teach and train these students is important. I expect we'll be heavily involved with that going forward. Classes in session for the new facility starting Monday, kicking off a new era in Maverick Medical Studies. Reporting first on the Western Slope, Cora Dickey, KREX 5 News.